case 5. I think we're back to me. So we can see like a, a very well demarcated uh, lobule here in the dermis and there's a lot of like lumens within it. Um, even looks a little like myxoidy in some areas. Uh, or yeah, like kind of mucinous change in some areas, but yeah. Um, it also looks like kind of like smooth muscle type cells throughout it. Yeah. Um, and uh, so you can think of angioliomyoma. Perfect. Which I remember um, you were saying like a lot of times can have multiple lumens, which I think when I was first learning it, I feel like I always saw pictures with just like one vascular lumen in the middle. Yeah, very good. Yeah, the circumscribed nodule, usually in the subcutis, the kind of classic location is the lower leg of an adult woman and it's a painful nodule, but they can occur at other sites. And so it's not always, and it's not always in women. Um, but uh, that is a kind of classic test exam question. Here, look, you can see one vessel out here, like one at the edge. So sometimes you get one big muscular vein. These essentially always are arising from the muscular wall of veins, not arteries. For some reason, lyomyomas like to arise from venous smooth muscle, not arterial. Um, I don't know why that is. But in any case, sometimes you'll see a large muscular vein at the edge, and then the nodules coming off the edge of that. Or other times you can see it kind of trapped in the middle, like a giant donut which makes me hungry. Um, but much more often we see this pattern, at least in my experience, multiple uh, lumens of varying size. And each lumen you can see is kind of wrapped by the muscle that kind of spirals out into the background. So the, uh, the muscle here has the cytologic features of smooth muscle like you'd see elsewhere with kind of the cigar shaped nuclei and abundant eosinophilic fibrillary cytoplasm and sometimes little glycogen vacuoles. Uh, next to the nuclei, I'm not, I'm having a hard time getting it to come into focus. This is kind of a funny scan, but here are little glycogen vacuoles. Here are these little clear bubbles. But the, the muscle does not make as well formed of fascicles as you'd see in, say, a pilar lyomyoma in the dermis, right? In those, you can see nice fascicles intersecting at angles. And here, you get a little sense of fascicles, but much of it, the, the muscle is swirling around each of these vessels and then merging into the neighboring vessel with its muscular swirl. And so because of that, um, you don't really get the good fascicle appearance that we see traditionally in lyomyomas, uh, like in the uterus or the dermis or other, other places in the body. So um, recognizing this is just from the multiple lumens, the pink muscle swirling around it. Um, and sometimes you can get some fat um, caught in the middle of these, and that's totally fine. It doesn't change the name or the diagnosis. And what was the last thing I was going to tell you? Oh, yeah, if you see something that looks kind of like this, but is more a little bit more blue because it's more cellular and has less eosinophilic cytoplasm and is a little more like swirly spindle cells swirling around multiple vessel lumens and a nice circumscribed nodule, that would be called a myopericytoma. I feel like it's a worthwhile thing to learn, even though it's probably not really related to angiolyomyoma. It's more, uh, more molecularly related to myofibromas, actually, is the current thinking. But I feel like, to me, morphologically, it kind of reminds me a bit of an angioliomyoma, but a little bit more cellular, more spindly, thinner spindle cells, more swirly and whirly. Um, I've got an example of one of those on my Kiko uh, Mega Index for soft tissue, so you can go search that page if you want. I'll put a link down below and um, it's for comparison. But I think it's a worthwhile tumor to learn while you're thinking about angioliomyoma because it has, to my mind, some morphologic overlap, even though it's not related. And this big space here is just an artifact. This is just the, the tissue is retracted during processing. Um, it's not actually a true vascular lumen or anything in this case.